Hello and welcome to this next module which is entitled Using the Google Keyword Planner Tool. Now the Google Keyword Planner Tool is a highly effective tool to allow us to determine potential demand for our chosen book subject. So what I mean by that is I can come up with an idea for a book and if I go into the Google Keyword Planner Tool it will tell me how many people are searching for that particular phrase or keyword every month. So for example I wrote a book a couple of years ago called How to Write a Book, How to Get It Published and How to Keep All of the Profits. So I was able to go into Google and find out how many people were searching every month for the phrase How to Write a Book. And that told me that there were, that there were people searching for that phrase, therefore my book had a better chance of selling. So the Google Keyword Tool is not a guarantee that your book chosen idea will sell but it will give you an indication as to whether or not there is demand. And the tool is also great for actually going into Google and coming up with chapter titles for your book based on how many people are searching for particular phrases. So for example, when I was doing research for this how to write a book book, it also told me that there were healthy searches on Google for people looking for how do I get my book published. So obviously the writing element of the book is entirely different to the publishing element. So you can use the Keyword Planner tool to come up with different ideas for book subjects. So the Planner tool isn't actually for coming up with book ideas, even though you can use it for that. But effectively, the Planner tool, it's a free AdWords tool that helps you build search network campaigns by finding keyword ideas and estimating how they may perform. So it's actually main, its main primar primary use is for allowing you to build advertising campaigns on Google. So you can pay for advertising on Google. Every time someone clicks through your ad, then you pay for it. So it's actually, that's its primary use, but we're gonna use it as authors and publishers to come up with different ideas for our books. Now with regards to non-fiction books, the keyword ideas will normally be the title for your books. But like I say, you can use the keyword tool to come up with potential chapter titles for your book. So the Google Keyword Planner tool is used to ascertain whether or not there is demand for your chosen book, idea or title. I have to stress it's not a guarantee that your book idea will sell. So don't come back to me and say, I've used the Google Keyword Planner tool, it's showing us loads of searches, um, but I haven't sold any copies. Having said that, from my own personal experience, if there is demand on Google, using the Keyword Planner tool and I create a book, then it will sell. Okay, so that is my experience. If I use this and there is demand, then it will sell. So you may find that the Google Keyword Planner tool throws up alternative book ideas based on search keywords and phrases. So let's take a look at the tool in action. So I'm gonna to go to Google. So you notice that I haven't signed in yet, but what I'm gonna do, and this guys works best if you download the browser Google Chrome, okay? So download, it's free to use, installing your computer Google Chrome. So I'm gonna type in the Google Keyword planner tool okay google keyword planner tool and i click search and you'll see there that there are a list here of three ads so it's you can see it's an ad because it's got the little green box which says ad for advert now these are people who are competing against each other and every time you click on this they pay for for the privilege of you going through their website that's what the the primary use of the google keyword planner tool is but we don't need to click on any of these. We want the first one at the top. And the website address that you need there is https colon forward slash forward slash adwords.google.com forward slash keyword planner. So it's the one at the top, which isn't an advert. And we click through on that and it goes through to this page. So it says here, this is the main page of the Google keyword planner. Now what you would have to do is you'd have to create an account. Now I've already created this. Now to save me going through and confusing you with creating an account. What I have done on a spreadsheet, a Word document below this video, is I have created a step-by-step -step guide to help you create your account. Okay, so what you can do is download that document after you've watched this video and set up your account. But I've already set mine up, so we're gonna jump to the position where you've set up your account and we click sign in. So you go to your Google account and then I'm gonna put in my password here and then click sign in. Now it will take me direct to a page um, which is on the Google Keyword Planner. Okay, so what it's doing is it's asking me here. So if you look across the top, let's say you go to the home page by default. What you need to do is to click Tools and then 
Keyword Planner. Okay, so you click Tools, Keyword Planner, and it will take you to this page here. So what I want to do is I want to find new keywords and get search volume data. Now what search volume data is, how many people are actually searching for this, okay, um, in the UK or worldwide. So I'm going to type in there how to write a book. So I've already done this because I've actually published the book myself. Now you can type in anything you want. It could be how to start a business, how to build confidence. It doesn't have to be a how-to book. It can be anything. And like I said before, this works better for non-fiction books. So how to write a book. And then I scroll down and I click get ideas. So this will give me some ideas as to what people are searching for. So you can see there how to write a book, that phrase, 10,000 to 100,000 per month. Now, don't work at w worry about the suggested bid. We don't need to worry about that because we're not setting up an advert on Google. We're just looking at search volume. Now, this is pretty cool because below here, it throws up other ideas. So you put in your main search phrase across the top. Mine is how to write a book. And I scroll down and it will show me like 10 to 100,000 a month. And I'm going to show you how to get more more detailed an analysis of what people are searching for in a minute. How to write a novel. Okay, it's showing me that there are 10 to 100,000. So within my book, I should put in a section about how to write a novel. How to start writing a book. So there's one to 10,000 people who want to know, how do I get started? What do I have to do? Now, this was interesting when I was creating my book subject titles. How to publish a book. How to publish a book. There was 10 to 100,000. So I needed to do a section on how to publish a book. It made perfect sense. So how do I get more focused data? So this is what the area that generally confuses people. So what I need to do is add that to a plan. So I scroll across and I put my mouse over there and I click the blue button. And it will then add this to a group. So it's created an ad group. And then I click review the plan. So I review the plan. Now it then takes me to this page, which looks a bit confusing. Okay, but when I click the keyword data, okay, so that button there, if you haven't entered a bid, you will need to. Don't worry about this because you're not going to pay anything, but just put one pound in there and then click the keyword part. And it will show you then for how to write a book that there are 1,437 um, impressions per month. That means that that's how many people are actually searching for that key, key phrase every month. That tells me there is demand. OK, there's people, you know, um, looking for that. And then if I was to move this across based on demand, then that would actually increase and move across, okay? Because it will actually go up based on what I am bidding. But it will also tell you um, on average there that there are one point, um, the number of impressions based a, 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 across a range. So don't worry about the actual bid. It just tells you the number of impressions that there are per month. So it's actually extremely useful information that you can tap into. So if I go back to the find the keywords, let me say, looking for confidence building. So let's say your book subject is on confidence building. So let me do this in real time. So I then click get ideas. Okay, confidence building, 1,000 to 10,000. So this, um, th there is demand there. But if I then look below, how to build confidence is even more. There is 10 to 100,000. Now what the competition here means, because a lot of people think this is how many people are writing and publishing books in the competition? It's not. What competition is how many people are actually bidding on keywords on adverts? Okay, so there's low competition for how to build a confidence, how to build confidence, not that many people searching for it. So again, if I then click on the add to plan on how to build self-confidence or how to build confidence, I can then review the plan again. I can click that and it will actually give me more analytical data. So if I click review the plan and I scroll down and I click on there, you can see there that it will give me the number of impressions for that particular search room, um, search phrase, how to build confidence, 156 impressions, how to build self-confidence, 186 impressions. Now, the reason why it's come in this same ad group is because I've added these keywords to the particular ad group. So let's go back, click on find keywords. So let's do another one. Let's do start a business. So don't forget, you put your ideas into that. You put your idea into there and then you click the get ideas button there and it comes up the search term starting a business 10 to 100,000. How to start a business 10,000 to 100,000. Again, I add these to 
my ad group. And then once it's done it, I'll review the plan. And then I scroll down, I click on the ad group and it will come up how to start a business, 8,459 a month of people searching for how to start a business. Okay, so a lot of traffic on there. So then if I go back to find the keywords, I can scroll down and it will tell me a variety of different phrases, business opportunities. So within a book on how to start a business, you might do business opportunities and then put the different opportunities for people. Again, if I click that to the plan, and I then review the plan, and I scroll down to my ad group, and I click on the ad group. It will then tell me business opportunities, 10,082 a month are searching for business opportunities. So therefore, you might put that as a chapter in your book. So hopefully that makes sense. That's how to use the Google Keyword Planner tool. What you do is you type in your book title or idea into the, your product or service, you click get ideas, it then lists the different ideas, your main search term there at the top, and then the different ideas down the bottom, what business to start, that could be a chapter, what kind of businesses are the most effective ones, how to open a small business, best business ideas, 10 to 100,000, you then add them to the ad group on the right hand side there, you click review the plan, you then scroll down, and click the ad group and it will come up with your keywords that you have had you have added so it says there best business ideas 854 people searching for that every month okay so hopefully that makes sense don't forget i have also created for you um, how to create your account a step-by-step -step document below this um, video but the google keyword planner tool is essentially it's a tool to help you come up with different book ideas and also chapter ideas like i say it's not a guarantee your book will sell but it is a great way to determine search traffic on google thank you very much for watching this and move on to the next module